Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Flower, back with another Western North Carolina Fishing Report with Dale Collins of Tuckasegee Fly Shop. How you doing, Dale? Doing good, Marvin. Hope you are. Yeah, just trying to stay out of trouble. And gosh, I looked at your weather and I mean, you're getting a lot of rain and it's going to be like 65 or 70 degrees in your neck of the woods this week. Yeah, it's going to feel super warm. You know, as it sits right now, it's raining and uh, the lower 40s and then, you know, we're staring at probably 68 degrees here Wednesday and Thursday. And then finally uh, a cold front comes back in and uh, brings some more rain. Um, So yeah, it's, it's the temperatures are are all over the, all over the place. The most consistent thing this week is the rain, which is weird. So, um, but we'll take it. Yeah. And I know, you know, obviously you don't know until you know, but you know, what are the expectations for what that's going to do to flows? So, you know, what, what's going to happen on the tuck is with the maintenance that Duke Energy has been trying to, to do on the uh, East Fork uh, Dam, they're going to be releasing. So um, probably going to take wading the tuck out of question for most people, but it's going to be some great flows to float on and the fish are going to respond well. So um, in the last couple weeks where we've seen rain like this, where they opened up the dams, there were really nice fish being landed. So I think it's uh, if you want to come hunt for some big browns out of the boat, I think, you know, the next next five to 10 days are going to be a great opportunity. So um, keep that in mind. And then, you know, the creeks, they're going to they're going to be all over the place. I I don't think we're getting rain hard enough uh, for like flash flood and completely blown out um, levels like up in the National Park or. Uh, places like Deep Creek or the Econa Lufty. But, you know, what What a lot of folks do on, on days like that where it's rainy and, and flows are elevated is go out there and swing some streamers in the bank eddies and uh, see if you can get some of those those nicer fish to come out and play. Yeah, or I would say, too, like a woolly booger jig or a patch rubber leg jig will get it done as well. Yeah, you don't even need to go very, very large at all. So because those fish, even though the water's high, they still want a natural, uh, more realistic presentation than, you know, like, you know, going up into uh, the national park and throwing a, a musky sized streamer for a brown trout. It's, it's just not going to respond. Yeah, that dog won't hunt, as they say. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and uh, so I think that, you know, obviously, if you're fishing for the big browns down on the tuck, you're going to be pulling streamers. Do you have any favorite patterns you like? You know, the Sculptzilla, that's that's kind of a standby um, the sparkle minnow and Creelix minnows have been pretty hot here in the last couple of weeks. So those are a couple. And again, those are, those are smaller patterns that throw great with a five weight. Um, if you want to get out and stretch out some sinking lines, this is going to be a great time to do that too. So, um, and certainly if, if you're going for the unicorn, throw the big articulated streamer. So, um, but just, you know, pay attention to the weather, weather, pay attention to, uh, the color of the river and things like that so um you know we'll just it's, it's going to be kind of a wake up in the morning and see what we got kind of week every day so, yeah and i guess really makes it hard but yeah keeps it interesting exactly and i guess the trick too to kind of help folks on that is kind of a rough rule of thumb i always think about is you know if, if you can't get in the stream and you're in like say i don't know 18 to 24 inches of water and you can't see your boots you should probably uh go do something else <laughs> yeah that's it yeah you know it's it's time to uh check out the the new vices and uh fly tying materials and things like that for sure so and we've got some amazing rain jackets in the shop too so those come in handy right now too yeah always good to to make that 500 hundred dollar rain jacket work for you and uh <laughs> you know it's kind of funny people that don't fish in the rain i was like well, i don't know why you have a g4 guide jacket then but whatever um, the, that's right. yeah. That's right. So, you know, folks, we love questions on the articulate fly. You can email them to us. You can DM us on social media. And if we use your question, I will send you some articulate fly swag. And when you're drawing for something cool from the shop at the end of the season and, uh, you know, uh, Santa Claus is coming, Dale, you want to let folks know kind of shop hours and all that kind of good stuff. Absolutely. So we, uh, we have moved to our winter hours. So, uh, we will be Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, we'll run that through most of the winter. It'll be closed on Christmas Day, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Christmas Eve. So, uh, you know, the, we've, we've got a lot of great accessories. If, if you're not looking to, to jump in on a big purchase, there's lots of ways to, to appease the angler in your life and uh, fly boxes and hats and accessories like that. So uh, definitely check us out online at flyshopusa.com. 
and we're running free shipping pretty much through the end of the year um, on that platform. Yeah, I was going to say, I still am always amazed. I saw your email newsletter and I was like, I still am amazed you guys got that domain name. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. Yeah. Got to got to have a head on a swivel. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And so I guess too, I guess one question I would ask uh, for you to share with our listeners, you know, obviously you're doing free shipping through December, but you know, kind of what is the smart drop dead date if someone wants to order something by mail and they want to get it under the tree? Yeah, it seems like um I've I've seen some dates. I've been watching that with the Postal Service. Um December 14th is a possibility depending on the distance of shipping but you know pretty much regionally in the southeast i'd say the 18th is probably going to be a safe jump off point to make sure that uh, it's there by by the time the the big man comes yeah well and you don't want to disappoint the kids so maybe you should part, move it a couple of days before that too right <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> well we'll listen folks if you're going to get out and fish in these conditions please be careful but you do owe it to yourself to get out there and catch a few tight lines everybody tight lines dale you too marvin